I'm Monica Campos from the Robinson Helicopter Company Flight Safety Department and today I'm here to talk to you about avoiding hot starts. Exceeding temperature limits during a turbine start, a hot start can cause severe engine damage requiring expensive repairs. Do not attempt to start when rushed or distracted. Pay close attention to engine instruments during a start and always follow the starting engine checklist. Before starting any aircraft, pilots should become very familiar with the starting checklist and procedures. Once a pilot completes the before starting engine checklist, the pilot can proceed with the starting engine and run-up procedure. Battery, strobe switches on. Igniter key, enable. Area, clear. Fuel cutoff, pull off. Throttle, closed. The pilot must physically ensure the fuel cutoff is pulled all the way to the off position. The pilot must also verify the throttle is completely closed. Keep hand away from fuel cutoff until limits for MGT and N1 are reached. Start button, push and release. Begin timing. N1, 15% increasing. MGT, below 150 degrees Celsius. Fuel cutoff, push on. Successful ignition within three seconds. MGT, monitor, observe limits. 25% N1, main rotor rotating. Oil pressure, increasing. Keep hand at fuel cutoff to be ready to abort. N1, stable at 65% to 67%. Once N1 is stable at 65 to 67%, complete the run-up checklist. During a start, do not push the fuel cutoff on until N1 is smoothly rising through at least 15%. If the starter is sluggish or will not achieve 15%, do not introduce fuel. Switch starter off using igniter key switch. For cold weather starts, refer to the flight manual for specific instructions. If the engine is warm from a previous flight, do not push fuel cutoff on until MGT is below 150 degrees Celsius. As the starter accelerates the engine to 15% N1, MGT typically falls below 150 degrees Celsius. However, extra time may be required to allow the residual temperature to decrease. After pushing the fuel cutoff on, continuously monitor MGT and keep your hand on fuel cutoff until N1 is above 60%. Pull fuel cutoff immediately if MGT approaches 900 degrees Celsius. This is the most important action for stopping a hot start and should be an instinctive reaction. Wait at least 10 seconds or until MGT has decreased below 150 degrees Celsius. Then switch starter off using igniter key switch. Never push fuel cutoff back on if it has been pulled off. Finish aborting the start. Then determine and correct the cause of the high temperature before attempting another start. Remember, you as the pilot have the ability to prevent exceedances and hot starts through proper training and education. For more information on avoiding hot starts, please refer to the Pilot's Operating Handbook and our website at www.robinsonheli.com. Thank you for watching and fly safe.